is it worth it? Heck yeah, it is. That's right, pretty right there now. Got the fruit trees budding out. Gonna be flowering here in the next couple of weeks. It's a little cool out today, not too bad, but garlic ain't looking bad at all. Looking real good. Sure enough. Then we get down here. Everything's going good, looking good, and come around the corner here. Got a damn tree. The wind blew over and went right in them power lines there. that a mess I gotta try to figure out how to get that out of there and it broke that joker right off then people want to know why why I don't homestead it's just one thing right after another I prefer to call it the home away from home there. All you homesteaders out there, you got good days and bad days. Let's make us a cup of coffee and talk about it. Well, you can see right there, a lot of people, they ask me, how come you don't homestead? <clears throat> in a way I am, but in a lot of ways I'm not. And uh, you can see right there. It's, uh, 
you're fighting a never-ending battle. I mean, you got good days and bad days. You got a tree on the power lines. And, uh, I try to get that off of there. So, uh, just one of them bad days, you know what I mean? Uh, home setting, that's not everything that's cracked up to be. I'm not bashing anybody. That if you like the homestead and that's your dream, that's the, what do they call it? You're living the dream. I think you're living in a dream, but <laughs> I'd never go back and homestead, that's for sure. I like it just like it is. I just suggest a home away from home. It's a place to come to. It's like a vacation every day if I wanted to be. Homesteading ain't gonna happen. I got enough homesteading growing up, but uh, just to show you that clip here in the video, it's what it can be like. You can just, your day can go from beautiful to sour. Well, that's about all we got for you. Like I say, uh, that homesteading is just not what all of the crap is to be. Still good coffee on the profanity stove. All my bushcraft friends out there, they know what I'm talking about. That stove is profanity. <laughs> All right, now you have a good one. I'll say God bless to you. We'll catch you in the next one.